When I walk up in the club and say Everybody want to know my name Yeah, here comes the glass roll Yeah, here comes the glass roll I just got done with court, so I figured I should update you guys on the situation. Um, like I said before, um, I couldn't get a competency evaluation in time, so my lawyer was planning on scheduling it in the future. Um, she said that the DA's office got mad because they said that I've been uh, that I was bragging on the internet about how I didn't have to do a competency evaluation, how I'm purposely putting it off which is not what I said. What I said is that my lawyer told me that she couldn't schedule it in time. And so I, I don't understand how the DA's office said that. And then the victim, the guy who threatened me with a gun was there. And he told me, and he said that I was bragging about how, um, some like he called it the blossom festival shooting what, that I was responsible for it. And he said that I was making threats against all mankind. Um, and that I need to be declared incompetent now. And um, the judge did not agree with him. And the judge said that um, he, there are procedures and that I have to have my second competency evaluation. So I'm not going to be declared incompetent. It was kind of crazy when I listened to these people's perspective on what I've said, which is that I knew that a biological weapon was being released and that um, that's all that happened. Like I didn't say that I was doing it or anything like that. And then, they, but then they're saying that like, I claimed responsibility for a mass shooting. I mean, it, it was crazy, which by the way, I, I said the Monterio music festival in, in a previous post. And the other crazy part is that this victim said that my videos are widespread, but then every time I post a video, I have zero to 10 views. Generally it's, I have two views. So apparently um, the two people that have watched it are the two people that um, can't hear what I'm saying. Um, or that, I mean, that, that was crazy that, that like the only two people that have watched the, my videos are the victim who says that I'm, I'm taking credit for a mass shooting, which I didn't. So the Monterio Music Festival, when I, when I said that one, what I actually meant was the Gilroy Garlic Festival and the, the mass shooter, before he did the shooting, he posted about Baylor. And he posted about um, Satanism. And I had been claiming that I'm um, Satan. And what you have to understand about me claiming that I'm Satan is that um, I'm not trying to appeal to the American audience. I am an information warfare expert. I'm trying to appeal to the f atheist audience that is in Asia. Because they don't want to partner with Jesus. They want to partner with Satan. I know that's crazy sounding, but um, to someone in a foreign country who's an atheist, that is actually very appealing to them. So it was crazy. It was a crazy experience. I just kept my mouth shut because because um, I knew they were lying. I mean, both the district attorney and the victim were both lying. Um, it was it was really crazy hearing people say that I'm making threats when I'm trying to save lives. But hey. Um, from from what it sounds like, I'm going to get declared incompetent. The judge said that I should stop making posting videos. That the videos are going to be a, be used against me in court. Um, the problem is that I'm doing my job. My job is information warfare, and my job is trying to create an alliance for World War III. Um, my, my job is trying to take lemons and, and turn it into lemonade. And the lemons are corona, are, are COVID nineteen because COVID nineteen is a freaking dude. It's a terrible, terrible situation. It is a disease that will never go away. Everyone talks about the normal after COVID-19 is over. It can't go away because of these new variants. Like we're going to have to get vaccinated every year. And even then people are going to be getting sick constantly. People are going to be wearing masks constantly. Do you think I like it? I hate it. I freaking hate it. It's even more stressful because I have this jail situation hanging over my head constantly. Like I always have jail hanging, like, or, or state hospital visit. And I mean, it's when, when, when during COVID-19, it's pretty scary when you, when, when you start to, when you, when you constantly have to worry about going to jail, especially when you didn't actually commit a crime. And that's the thing about the DA's office saying that I'm on there bragging about how I don't have to do a competency evaluation. They're the ones that made sure I couldn't go to court. I, I like generally 
district attorneys want people to not be declared incompetent. Like I, I saw this guy, the guy, I, I read about this guy that did the mass shooting at Planned Parenthood. Um, the DA didn't want him to be declared incompetent. His lawyer wanted him declared incompetent because they wanted to use it in a, in a legal case. And so the fact that they wanted me to me declared incompetent is like, hmm, why is that? Because you don't have a legal case? Because you're going to lose in court? Because I didn't actually break the law? Of course. So anyways, I'm, I'm sorry for talking too much. I'm out of here. I hope you guys have a good day.